Sharon Nashat, Iranian artist, born on March 26, 1957. She was born in the city of Asvin. She was sent to the United States to continue her education while the Islamic Revolution was taking place in her city. She eventually moved to New York where she started to work at the storefront for art. Sharon took on photography, film, and video that discusses the issues of gender, identity, and politics in the Muslim country. Most of her photographs explored the notions of feminists in the relation of, to the Islamic fundamentalism in her home country. As you notice in this photo here, Nashat shows her complicated feelings through the series of her stage photographs by showing women in chadors and even some holding guns. She uses mixed media pieces of silver gliding with ink to the female body parts such as the face, hands, and feet. She uses calligraphic text that is applied to each photograph. Each script that runs across the artist's face is from a poem called Allegiance with Wakefulness, which honors the convention and bravery of martyrdom. The use of the veil is intended to protect women's bodies from becoming the sexualized object of the male gaze, but it also protects the women from being seen at all. The male gaze represents sexuality, sin, shame and power. Through Neshet's photographs, she explains how the male gaze is normalized in visual and popular culture. The gun that is shown in the picture represents religion. It's a subject about how the artist feels as an outsider to Iranian a revolutionary culture. Women Without Men is one of Sharon Neshet's independent film that talks about the lives of four women who lived in Iran during the summer of 1953. This thriller addresses themes such as human rights for women, women voting rights, and the women's rights movement. These are a couple photos from Women Without Men. Viewing this movie allows audience to explore the lives of four women in the beautiful countryside of Iran, where Nashat explores the social political dimensions of her characters. According to Nashat's point of view, it also allows us to see the bigger picture and realize that women and human rights community resembles different organ organs of one body created from a common incense. I recommend individuals like me who loves art to watch this movie because it represents women and how they deal with problems in Iran and how all the political things that's going on in their country, how the women survive and they find areas where they find peace. As we can see from this photo, the prostitute Zarin, one of the characters who visits a public bath to wash her body, she modestly pours water over her head from a bowl while clutching her towel on her body. She starts scrubbing her limbs with the cloth harder and harder until she bleeds over the floor and her towel falls away. The camera turns to the boy watching this horrific scene, mouth agape and eyes un. This photo is just a glimpse of how the women are treated and women without men film by Sharon Nishat.
This is how religion is practiced in the culture of Iran. Responding to what Sharon saw in Iran, she produces works that encounter such repression. Her art consistently aims to highlight the strength and nobility of women living in traditional Muslim society. As you can see from this photo, Sharon won the first international prize at the Venice Biennale in 1999. This event showcases the latest trends in contemporary art. In 2000, she received the Visual Art Award also for Film Festival. And she received so many awards and achievements for her artwork. This photo focuses on the details of the women face. You can actually feel the pain that she feels right now. Also, in most of Sharon's photographs, she uses dark colors such as black and white. This photo appears symmetrical. The split that is created by the weapon implies a more violent rupture or fragmentation. In most of Sharon's artwork, she uses organic and expressive lines, lines that will outline the human and women body. Sharon chose photography as one of her mediums because she felt that photography works best with the topic that she tr tries to convey in her photos, such as realism and a sense of drama. She also found that the simplicity of each image is essential to give a sense of clarity within its very complex. Art is a weapon. Culture is a form of resistance, said Sharon. Her work has increasingly reflected her desire to come to terms to understand ideas behind Islamic ideology and to also reconnect with her own past. Her photographs, video installations, and short films explore the issues surrounding contemporary Islamic cultures, identity, and particularly the subject of Islamic women. Speechless by Sharon Nashat, created in 1957. Estimate price for this photo, $5,640 through $8,460. This photo and many other photos and films that Sharon Nash has produced has been a great inspiration towards women and all their freedom of speech. I admire all of her photographs and I love all her short films that she produced. In the next slide, you will see what I created for my artwork to express how I feel about her photo. For my artwork, I chose to take a photograph that expresses how women in different countries are treated different towards men. This shows a sense of power for women. Now in Sharon's artwork, she uses different props and written text language in her photographs. For my artwork, I use different keywords such as voice, mind, democracy, B counts and negative works to explain how women are treated.